Hello students, I am Marco Severo and this is the Marketing Analytics course. We're going to follow now with the practical activities using the Gretel files. If you, if you remind, in the last lecture uh, I showed you how to install and to open a data set using the Gretel software and more specifically I showed you the Hollywood Movies data set. We are again going to work with this data set but now we're going to work with a restricted subsample of this data set and I'm going to show you how to do that before generating descriptive statistics and insights from this data set. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do I'm going to open Retail and then I'm going to open uh, the data set we say I saved and showed you how to save the entire data set so double click on Gretel and then we go we go right here on file click on file open data user file I'm going to find it inside my computer so it's right here marketing analytics and Hollywood movies complete data I'm going to open this data set so this is uh, the entire data set of the Hollywood movies. But the thing is that if you remind, let me zoom here, uh, right after we saved this data set, Gretel also showed us, and I saved this, a text file revealing uh, the attribution, the software automatic attribution uh, of numbers from the string variables. So, for example, Lead Studio is a string variable with different uh, studio names like Sony, Paramount, Disney, Warner, and etc. So, Gretel automatically attributed numbers to these names. Okay, so I have Sony here, it's number one, and when I have Sony again, uh, I'm going to show you that on the data set is going to be one again. The same thing happen, uh, happens for different string variables such as story, uh, gen, and other, and other variables. So we have these string variables in our data set. But the thing is, I only want to work with movies uh, that uh, were produced and developed by the major and the biggest uh, studios, which are the sixth ones. So the idea is to restrict the data set to movies that were developed only by this, uh, these studios. So let me go back to Gretel, and this is pretty easy to do. Let me zoom out. So I'm here in Gretel, and then we go to Sample, Restrict, based on Criterion. And now I need to show to Gretel which values to select, which uh, observations to select based on uh, some criteria. So I'm going to choose the variable Lead Studio, double-click here. And then I'm going to show to Gretel which observations I want to select from the entire sample. So if you remember, I want to work with the big six studios. So the, sixth, uh, the six first numbers, six values. So I go to below seven. <coughs> Take a look here, please. So we are working in the full range, almost a thousand movies. And as soon as I click on OK, it's going to show me that they dropped uh, more than 400 observations. I click on close, and now it is saying to me that I am working with the, the, a sample of five, uh, 508 movies. Okay, so this is the sample I'm going to work with in the next lectures. I'm going to file, save data as, and now I'm going to save this, uh, save this file as the big six studios. So movies sorry big six studios and i'm going to click on save 
Retel is going to ask if I want to restore to the full range. I'm going to say no. And uh, it's going to ask me if I want to switch to the reduced version. Uh, now I'm going to click yes. And now I'm using uh, the data set with only the big six studios. OK, to show that if this is right, I'm going to zoom in again. And see now Lead Studio, I'm going to double click. And we are going to see only movies from the big six. So Sony, Paramount, Disney, Warner Bros. So Retail automatically deleted, uh, deleted the movies that weren't from uh, these big six. Let me save again. File, save, just to confirm. And now we are ready to work with this data set. Thank you very much.